Melissa says, hey, Andrea, I have a basic question about clothing. EC babies, do you use only t-shirts and leggings? Do you ever use onesies or bodysuits or pants before they're able to manipulate their own clothing? I guess I'm just wondering if it's worth it to keep those gifts and hand-me-downs when I get them. Thanks. Good question. I'm going to answer Jennifer Heidefrost. She's one of our coaches. With my first, I used onesies and I didn't snap them most of the time. When we were doing naked time, if we had a miss, his onesie would inevitably get wet and needed to be changed. With my second, I just went ahead and cut those snaps right off. Best thing I ever did. Highly recommend it. Get those scissors out and have many more t-shirts in your layout. And then Mari says, I go back and forth with these onesie things. If I like it or not, I do too. When we went camping, I liked it because I let baby go commando underneath the onesie and outdoors. It was easier to just snap and go for pottying, but at home or in other places, it's utterly annoying because many times the tail of the onesie gets stuck in the potty or mini potty and you still have to change their clothes even though they went potty in the potty. For me, it's a mixed bag. I have the exact same experiences too. Now for my answer, Melissa, I have three videos. I just finished about what gear you need to EC starting at birth with a mobile baby or with a young toddler. I look terrible in the video. That's why I have resisted putting it up because I'm like 34 weeks pregnant. I mean, I look great because I'm pregnant. Yeah, but I mean, I look very tired in the videos, but I'm going to get past that and I'm going to post them up soon. Um, they're going to be on the about EC page on my website. And they're going to be on the supply list page, which I just put up as well. So you can look there. I'll probably also email you guys about it. If you get on my email list, please. And um, what that video is basically going to say is when you have a baby who's pre-mobile, um, you can use whatever clothes you have. I actually use onesies that snap. I don't use the onesies that snap all the way down the whole body or that zip, or if they have a zipper, it's a lot easier if you need like a footed kind of pajama thing. And I use sleep bags for them too when they're very young to so unzip it and open up everything. I've gone both directions. With my first, I had split crotch pants for a good four months from 14 to 18 months. And it was great. Uh, in the beginning, it depends on what you're doing. It depends on how cold it is. It depends on a lot of things, but you can use just what you already have and the kitchen sink. If you don't want to buy any gear for EC, if you want to get ear, gear for EC, it is good to have t-shirts and leggings and your diaper backup as your basic uniform. It makes it a lot easier. Um, before they're able to manipulate your own clothing is definitely a good time to use onesies or bodysuits or pants. I usually use the shorts set bodysuits in the summer so that we don't have a lot. There's still only four snaps. Sometimes we only snap the two external or the two internal ones or one snap. So it stays on, but it's easy to get off. What you wanna do is not hinder your success. So if what you're using right now makes you miss a pee because you can't get the stuff off fast enough, then change it up. And then when they start manipulating their own clothing, you definitely wanna use something with a loose waistband that they can push and pull on and off easily. Um, in my wrapping up EC course, I have my three and a half year old Isadora has demonstrated. Um, we just filmed it this week. She's demonstrated how to do all of the things. This is how you push down your pants. This is how you push down your underwear. And this is how you put on underwear and pull up your pants. For those things, clearly onesies and bodysuits are not going to be helpful. So go ahead and get rid of those. If you got any onesies or bodysuits from 12 months up to 18 months, unless the ones you're going to use for nighttime or nap time. So, but for like day-to-day -day stuff, if somebody is giving you those, probably best to get rid of those as well. 